Welcome to The Wealthiest, where you will learn the ins and out about the world's elite, how they live and how they spend their accumulated wealth. Let's get started. Gangsters have long been associated with wealth, power, and violence. These notorious figures have amassed vast fortunes through illegal means, from drug trafficking to extortion, and have left their mark on history. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the 10 richest gangsters of all time, their sources of wealth, and their legacies left behind. Number 1. Frank Lucas Frank Lucas was a very wealthy man during his peak years as a drug lord in the late 1960s and early 1970s. He made millions of dollars from his heroin trafficking operation, which he ran with ruthless efficiency and a disregard for the law. Lucas was known for his opulent lifestyle, which included a fleet of luxury cars, expensive clothing, and a lavish mansion in Teaneck, New Jersey. He also invested in legitimate businesses, such as a record label and a restaurant, to launder his drug money. His estimated net worth was $530 million. However, his fortune didn't last long, as he was eventually arrested and imprisoned for his crimes. After serving time in prison, Lucas claimed to be broke and living on Social Security benefits, but this claim is disputed by some who believe he may have hidden assets, but we will never know. Number 2. Mayor Lansky Mayor Lansky was an American organized crime figure who was active from the 1920s through the 1970s. He was a key figure in the development of the National Crime Syndicate and had interests in gambling, bootlegging, and other illegal activities. Lansky's estimated net worth is $600 million, as much of his income was derived from illegal activities and he was known for his ability to hide his wealth. Lansky had interests in casinos in Cuba, the Bahamas, and Las Vegas, and was a major player in the development of the modern casino industry. Despite his wealth and power, Lansky was never caught or convicted of a major crime, and he died in 1983 at the age of 80, reportedly living a modest lifestyle in Miami Beach, Florida. Now that is impressive. Number 3. Anthony Fat Tony Salerno Anthony Fat Tony Salerno was an American mobster who was a leader of the Genovese crime family in New York City from the 1970s until his imprisonment in the 1980s. Salerno was known for his involvement in labor racketeering, extortion, and illegal gambling. Salerno's estimated net worth is $2.3 billion. He had interest in several illegal gambling operations in New York City and New Jersey, as well as legitimate businesses, such as construction companies and waste disposal firms, which he used to launder his criminal proceeds. Salerno was eventually arrested and convicted on charges of racketeering and conspiracy in 1986, and he was sentenced to 100 years in prison. He died in 1992 at the age of 80 while serving his sentence in a federal prison in Minnesota. Number 4. Rizzo de Blanco Rizzo de Blanco, also known as the Cocaine Godmother, was a notorious drug lord who operated in Colombia and the United States during the 1970s and 1980s. She was a key figure in the Medellin cartel and was responsible for smuggling large quantities of cocaine into the United States. Blanco's estimated net worth is $2.5 billion. She controlled a vast drug trafficking network that spanned Colombia, the United States. Blanco was also involved in other criminal activities, such as kidnapping and murder, and she was rumored to have ordered the deaths of hundreds of people during her career. Blanco was eventually arrested and imprisoned on drug trafficking charges in the United States in 1985. Blanco was released from prison in 2004 and deported to Colombia, where she was reportedly living a relatively modest lifestyle at the time of her death in 2012. She was 69, however. Her net worth at the time of her death is not known. Number 5. Carlos Later. Later was a former Colombian drug lord who co-founded the Medellin cartel with Pablo Escobar in the late 1970s. He was arrested in 1987 and is currently serving a life sentence in the United States for drug trafficking and other crimes. It is unlikely that he has access to significant assets or wealth while in prison. His jail term was reduced after he testified against former Panamanian leader Manuel Noriega, who had close links with the Medellin cartel and allowed it to ship cocaine through Panama. Later was then placed in a witness protection program in Florida. His estimated net worth is $2.7 billion. Number 6. Joseph Kennedy Joseph Kennedy Sr. was an American businessman, investor, and politician who was the patriarch of the Kennedy family. He made his fortune in a variety of industries, including entertainment, real estate, and liquor. 
Kennedy's estimated net worth is $3.3 billion, as much of his wealth was tied up in various business ventures and investments. One of Kennedy's most successful ventures was his involvement in the liquor industry. During Prohibition, he made a fortune by importing and distributing illegal alcohol. After Prohibition ended, he continued to build his fortune by acquiring and investing in liquor companies. Kennedy passed away in 1969 at the age of 81, and his wealth was distributed among his children and grandchildren. Today, the Kennedy family is still one of the wealthiest and most influential families in the United States. Number 7. Al Capone Al Capone was an American gangster who was active during the Prohibition era of the 1920s and 1930s. He made his fortune through a variety of illegal activities, including bootlegging, gambling, and prostitution. Capone's estimated net worth is $3.7 billion. Capone was also involved in other criminal activities, such as extortion, racketeering, and murder. He was known for his violent tactics and his ability to intimidate his rivals and enemies. Despite his wealth and power, Capone was eventually arrested and convicted on charges of tax evasion in 1931, and he was sentenced to 11 years in prison. He spent most of his remaining years in prison and died in 1947 at the age of 48. Number 8. Joaquin El Chapo Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, born April 4, 1957, was a Mexican drug lord who was considered one of the most powerful drug traffickers in the world. He was most known as a powerful drug lord and former leader of the notorious Sinaloa cartel. According to Forbes, his net worth was estimated to be more than $5 billion at the height of his criminal career. He bribed prison guards and escaped from a federal maximum security prison in 2001. His status as a fugitive resulted in an 8.8 .8 million combined reward from Mexico and the U.S. for information leading to his capture and he was arrested in Mexico in 2014. He escaped prior to formal sentencing in 2015 through a tunnel dug by associates into his jail cell. Mexican authorities recaptured him following a shootout in January 2016 and extradited him to the U.S. a year later. In 2019, he was found guilty of a number of criminal charges related to his leadership of the Sinaloa cartel, was sentenced to life imprisonment, and incarcerated in ADX Florence, Colorado, United States. He was sentenced to life without parole, plus an additional 30 years. Number 9. Amado Carrillo Fuentes Amado Carrillo Fuentes, also known as the Lord of the Skies, was a Mexican drug trafficker who controlled the Jurez Cartel. It's difficult to estimate his net worth, but it's believed that at the height of his criminal career, his estimated net worth is to be $25 billion. He was known for his elaborate smuggling operations, including his use of a fleet of private jets to transport drugs across the border. He died in July 1997 in a Mexican hospital after undergoing extensive plastic surgery to change his appearance. Amado Carrillo Fuentes was assessed to be worth around $25 billion at the hour of death. Number 10. Pablo Escobar Pablo Escobar was a Colombian drug lord who was considered one of the wealthiest criminals in history. His net worth was estimated to be around $62 billion at the height of his criminal career in the 1980s and early 1990s. Escobar controlled the Medellin cartel and was responsible for smuggling large quantities of cocaine into the United States and other countries. However, he was eventually killed by Colombian authorities in 1993 and much of his wealth was seized or lost after his death. His killing was mourned and his funeral attended by over 25,000 people. Additionally, his private estate, Hacienda Naples, has been transformed into a theme park. His life has also served as inspiration for or has been dramatized widely in film, television, and in music. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the net worths of infamous gangsters and well-publicized criminals throughout history. We hope that this video has provided you with a greater understanding of the dark underbelly of wealth and power and the risks and dangers that come with pursuing success through illegal and unethical means. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos. Like and comment below on your favorite gangster and why. We appreciate your support in growing our channel. Look forward to seeing you in our next video.